Bill has 198 marbles in his collection. He then buys another 44. A year later, he decides that he has had enough of marbles and decides to split them as evenly as possible between the other 31 students in his math class. Roughly, how many marbles will each of his classmates get? And the fact that we have the word roughly here means we don't need to get the exact answer. If it's a roughly or estimate how many marbles each of his classmates will get, that says, hey, we, maybe we can round these numbers a little bit to make our calculations a little bit easier. So let's give a go at that. So he, ha he starts with 198 marbles. Well, let's round everything to the nearest 10, and maybe that'll simplify things. So 198, if we were to round to the nearest 10, well, we'd want to look at the ones place. The ones place, we have an 8. If you have a ones place that's 5 or greater, then you're going to round up if you're going to round to the nearest 10. So if you round the nearest 10, if you round up, it from 198 is actually 200. We'll just go up to 200. That's also the nearest 100. So this is approximately equal to 200. And this little squiggly equal sign, that means roughly equal to or approximately equal to. And so this is what he starts off with. Then he buys another 44. 44 is approximately equal to, if we round to the nearest 10, we look at our ones place, it's less than 5. So we're going to round to the 10 below 44. The 10 below 44 is 40. If we go to the nearest 10 going down, we get to 40. So how many total marbles did he have before he distributes them? Well, if we take our rough two, if we take our two rough estimates and if we add them, 200 plus 40, he has roughly 240 marbles before he distributes them. Now, how many students is he going to distribute them between? Well, there's a total of 31 students. There's 31 students, but once again, let's round this. If we round this to the nearest 10, we're going to round down, because our ones place has a 1 in it. It's less than 5. So we're going to round to the 10 below 31. So that is going to be 30. So if you have roughly 240 marbles, and you're going to distribute them amongst roughly 30 folks, then how many are each of them going to get? Well, each of them are going to get 240 divided by divided by 30. Once again, this is just a rough estimate. Roughly 240 marbles divided by 30 folks. Well, what's 240 divided by divided by 30? Well, if we say that this is equal to if we say that this is equal to the marbles per student, so let's say that this is m. m for marbles per student. This is another way of saying that m times 30 m times 30 is equal to 240, or that 240 is equal to m times 30. Let me write it that way. So that's the same thing as saying that 240 is equal to m times 30, where m is what we're trying to figure out, the, the rough number of marbles per student. So let's think about what m is. And there's a bunch of ways we could do it. We could just look at our multiples of 30. So 30, 60. 90. Notice this is very similar to taking multiples of 3, but we just have a 0 now. The, 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 the multiples of 3 are now in the tens place, and now we have a 0 in the ones place. 90, 120, which is just a 12 with a 0. 150, 180, 180, 210, 240. So what is this? This is 30 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we know that 240 is equal to 30 times 8. So we could write 240 is equal to, and 30 times 8 is the same thing as 8 times 30, is equal to 8 times 30. Is equal to 8 times 30. Or another way we could say is the number of marbles on each of his friends is going to get is roughly 8. So this is going to be, this is going to be 8. So each of his classmates is going to get roughly roughly eight marbles. Once again, this is an estimate. It's not an exact answer. Now, you might have tried to get a slightly more precise answer. If you, want, if you didn't want to round 198 and 44, you could have just added the two. Eight plus four is 12. And then one plus nine plus four is 14. One plus one is two. 
So the exact number of marbles he had was 242, which is pretty close to 240. So 240 was a good approximation. And then when you divide that by, dividing it by 31 is a bit of a pain. And luckily, we can just estimate. So we divided by 30, and we got 8. And just as a, another kind of aside here, notice, notice 24, 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. And if you, if you divide 240, 240 divided by 30, this is also this is also equal to 8. So if you divide something 10 times as large by something 10 times as large, you're still going to get the same value. But either way, each of his classmates are going to get roughly 8 marbles.